In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the effects your character has, as well as other players, using command blocks and commands in the chat menu. To start off with, you're going to want to open up your world settings, which is the pencil right next to your world. And then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says activate cheats. You're going to want to make sure this is on for this to be able to work. Once you've activated cheats, just open up your world like normal for this to work. Once you've loaded into your world, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the chat and do slash give space at s space command underscore block and then hit enter. You should now have a command block in your inventory. And if you're in creative, you should be able to open the command block also. All right, so let's get into the command blocks I have set up here. So the first one right here is swiftness. And as you can see, when I press the button, I'm super speedy and I move around really quickly. And now opening the command block, as you can see, it's effect, which is saying that it's an effect, space at P, which does the nearest player, space speed, which is the effect, which is the swiftness I have, space five, which is how long it's gonna be for five seconds, space 20, and that's the strength. And the strength for effects is from zero to 255. And onto our next command block, this will give you jump boost if you just press the button like this. And if I jump, you'll see I go flying in the air. The command for this is really similar. It's effect space at P, so it's doing the effect to the nearest player. And instead, now it's jump underscore boost to give jump boost space 10 for 10 seconds long, space 15, it's gonna have a strength of 15. Now the next command block I'm gonna show you actually does not give you an effect, it clears all your effects. So as you can see, I have the effect jump boost, but when I press it, my effects disappear. And now the command for this basically starts off the same, it's effect space at P, but then now it has clear, and it's going to clear the effects instead of actually giving an effect to the player. Now let's say you actually want to give an effect through the chat menu instead of actually through a command block. It's really similar, but at the start, you're just going to have a slash, and then do the effect space at S instead of at P, and this is just going to give the effect to you instead of the nearest person. And then you're going to want to just type out the rest of the command like normal, so I'm just going to set this to 100 seconds, and then a power of 30 now instead. Dead. And as you can see, I went higher than what I did when I pressed the command block because that had a lower strength value. Another really cool trick you can use is actually get rid of the particle effects around you when you're having an effect. So what you do is just type true at the end of your command. And as you can see, I do not have the particle effects anymore. And yet I still have the jump boost effect. So that was just two of the effects you can have, but you can have every single effect in the game using this command. And a good way to do that is just open up the chat and then you can just go through the list of options. All right, so what I've shown you so far is just how to affect yourself or the nearest person, but you can actually just choose anybody to have these effects or you can even give these effects to mobs using command. So I just got my alt account here so that I can show you I can give him these effects also. So right now my alt account is in survival and if I open up the chat and type slash effect space at A, which is going to affect all the players, and then I type poison, I can actually give him the poison effect. And as you can see in the top right, I also have poison, but obviously I'm in creative, so I won't be taking the damage like he is. And then obviously to clear the effect, we're gonna do slash effect space at a space clear. And this will clear everyone's effects. Now, another really cool thing you can do is you can actually give an effect to a random player. And so to do this, it's actually really similar to the other ways. You're gonna open chat and type slash effect space. And then this time we're gonna do at R, which does a random player. And then you're gonna to wanna to type in the rest of the command like normal. So in this case, I'm just gonna do hunger space 10 space 255. And as you can see, it gave me the hunger effect, but did not give my alt account the hunger effect. And it took a few times, but it eventually chose my alt account to have the hunger effect, but I'm gonna speed this up because it took a while. But as you can see, after running the command a few times, my alt account eventually did get the hunger effect. And as I've mentioned, another really cool thing you can do is also give mobs these effects. So if I spawn in some zombies real quickly, I can make them invisible, just type in a command in chat. For this example, I'm gonna do slash effect space and then you're gonna type at entity, it's gonna turn all entities to this effect and now I'm gonna do space invisibility for this and then space 10, space 255. And as you can see, all the mobs have turned invisible but you might notice I'm also invisible. And that's because all entities refers to players, mobs, even items on the ground, boats and stuff like that are also considered entities. So be careful to use at E in your commands. Well, those are just the basics of how to use the slash effect command. If you're interested in learning more about command blocks, I recommend checking out my video right here where I go over the slash game mode command.